Hello guys and welcome back to The Mood. Today we are the 23 of March 2021. You've been discouraged on what you saw last night. Yeah, Bitcoin price dumped more and uh, you're feeling full of anxiety. Why? Probably because you use some leverage or you use some techniques that you're not mastering. So at that point, I think as an introduction, I'm going to show you the fantastic story of Satoshi Flipper that once was an excellent trader, had 80k followers guys 80k followers and uh on binance he was he started from 30 i think it was 30k or something in six months he reached 1 million point 150 he was on the top chart of binance trader and you can look on twitter at all his charts he was actually a very consistent trader had lots of profits you see guys yeah he was followed by many but guys he was using leverage trade and he started gaining confidence over time and we are the 24th of august and guys i totally remember that on the i think it was on a drop uh, during october 2020 he totally vanished and disappeared why because he used leverage he was using all the time leverage and then he got liquidated at some point and i remember i saw a leaderboard of him with like a loss of 90 five percent or something and then it totally vanished and now you can look on internet you can look on twitter everybody's wondering since that where is this guy gone he had so many followers so many and everybody now is wondering where is that guy gone if he's dead or whatever but he's not obviously dead because some people have seen that he's still trading so i hope for him he's back on track but that's a lesson to learn that you shouldn't use leverage trading whatever people tell you because that's what's gonna get you wrecked how you're gonna get uh, kicked out of the game and that's what you don't want so please guys take this story very seriously uh satoshi flipper i hope you're all right i hope you are doing well and that you will be back one of these days but guys leverage is bad for you okay And today the mood is ha 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 the market is just playing with you guys this market is tricking you into believing that this is gonna be a good short right now that market is gonna drop and that this is the end of everything uh, what we see on Bitcoin is actually quite nice uh, we got a nice uh, amount of fear here that will be probably sufficient to bring the price up and have a little bounce that already started this morning from this resistance line so we are on the four hour chart uh, here we see that the magda is about to cross and erisa is super low i think all the signs are pointing for a rebound on these levels guys this this level is gonna hold for me probably most probably now let's see on the 30 minutes what do we have so we see that little bounce we got two bullish divergence here that shows us that in fact we are in a bullish territory we are back and this was the line that i drew yesterday that was supposed to hold didn't hold okay that's 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 why you have to use stop loss if you longed it here and if you use stop loss you're right if you didn't you know what you're in a good spot right now just just be patient and this price is this price action is going to take you back up at some point I, I believe this is all gonna be all right right now we see it's a little bit weakening on the 30 minutes however um, let's have a look at ethereum ethereum is doing also quite well it's rebounding here i would say that with this bullish divergence i would take a bold statement and i would like i told you actually on twitter and please don't forget to subscribe my twitter address is right here and please also don't forget to subscribe to this very very channel so you can check everything tomorrow together and uh, for me we are gonna hold this level so I will not be scared about that and uh, I would see during this week a move up, a move up back there and probably guys you know what I would not be surprised if next week same time we are we are uh, trading uh, ethereum uh, over 2000 dollars that would not surprise me at all remember the market wants to bitch with you for real it wants to make you believe that now we are going to drop if you look at this chart you think like now it's a good time to short right but it's totally not a good time to short actually we are in the bull market so you, you don't want to short 
anything, if you are shorting, you are clueless of what you're doing. If you're shorting and if you're using leverage, you are totally clueless and you're gonna, you're gonna get liquidated. You're not gonna be there in six months to see the price action blow up this 100K that is probably gonna happen. Yeah, it's actually looking quite good. So nothing much to say about it. We are going to probably bounce on the lines I drew it. So I'm not gonna touch it for now. Uh, let's have a look at Litecoin. Litecoin took a nice tumble, has a lot of bullish divergence. I believe we are going back to this resistance and we are going to hold there until further price action on Bitcoin. That's where we are waiting. Also BNB is totally ranging today and actually since the week it held very well uh, during this drop last night and uh, it seems still like a good buy. It could drop a little bit lower still but uh, because the fear is not settling up except we have these two bullish divergence that looks nice and that for me are gonna hold the price up there and we are going back on a stable uh, daily price but the BNB is not supposed to be a stable coin so Tron guys I believe many of you guys want to know what's going on with Justin Sun and the Tron application they have so many cryptos they have Tron they have BTT they have a steam they have so many I don't know why suddenly with the NFT fashion Justin Sun managed to get some some fancy names and stuff he's doing himself a lot of advertising uh, buying the the Beeple NFTs at around 60 million, something like that. This guy is full of money because he's printing it. Not a good sign, not a good sign. So these coins are just pumps, but I think it deserves a closer look. So that's what we are going to do later on today. Um, that's gonna be it for today. Please remember the story of Satoshi Flipper. Please don't do that at home. <laughs> Only if you're experienced. Don't do that at home. This is just for uh, purpose of example. Don't forget to subscribe to the Mood channel, here the Twitter handle, and uh, yeah, that's it. Have a good day. Bye-bye.